Well, YouTube, things are weird in season two. Not bad, just topsy-turvy. We have a couple of new attachments that have been added to the game. One called Disruptor Rounds, affecting both the Alternator and the RE45. Then we have Hammer Point Rounds, affecting the P2020 and the Mozambique. These attachments effectively double damage versus enemies in particular situations, and they are incredibly powerful. They make these guns really, really good, end game viable, top tier weapons, I dare say, in a lot of situations. So let's have a look at what they do, how they work, and just talk about whether or not they're good for the game, whether they should stay, whether they should be altered, and what needs to happen next. Let's get started with the elephant in the room, Disruptor Rounds. This attachment causes your alternator to deal well over 25 damage per bullet to enemy shields. Two shots will rip a white armor, three for a blue, and four for your favorite grape-flavored armor. This is a massive, massive, massive buff to the damage output of the alternator and the RE45. Now, the big thing here for a lot of people, I think, is that because the alternator's damage buff is so high, it becomes a very good weapon both at close and medium, and thirdly, at very long ranges. Because you can just tap fire it and hit people for better than G7 damage, or equivalent to G7 damage with a whole heck of a lot higher fire rate, better ADS walking speed, faster reload speed, just overall better handling, better mag size, the list goes on and on and on. The alternator with this attachment at longer ranges just becomes a better fully automatic G7 in a lot of situations. It's a really huge and incredibly powerful update. Like, I, I, I can't think of enough words off the cuff here to describe just how much of a difference this attachment makes in the quality of the alternator specifically as a weapon. I don't think it would be unreasonable for me to say that the alternator with this attachment might just be the best gun in the game right now. It is incredibly good, and if you're sleeping on it, don't. On the surface, this gun does not seem like it would be super powerful with the buff. You wouldn't think that double damage alternator only against half the enemy's health bar would be that powerful. Like It seems like good, but not better than an R99, but... I, I dare say that after using it for a couple of days now, it is just way too good. It's so strong. You guys should absolutely be using the alternator with this attachment if you are not already targeting it, especially in your sweaty ranked games. Even if you're not going out and fragging out with this thing, you only need to plink people a couple of times to completely shrek their armor. You have two teammates who can clean those people up. You can switch to another weapon to clean them up, or if they run away, they get away. Who cares? You're wasting so many resources so fast and for such a small investment. This is like a full auto wingman for people who can't aim, is what this alternator feels like to me. And I know that is a crass description, but like, it's just so good. I can't possibly tell you any more times just how good this thing is. So please, everyone here. Alternator with Disruptor Rounds. Use it, live it, learn it, love it. This thing is the new meta for Apex Legends until they decide to rebalance it. And I strongly hope that Respawn rebalances this attachment ASAP. Now, it's also very good on the RE45 as well. But I will say that I've not had the playtime with RE45 in this attachment that I would have liked so far. I don't have very much footage of it. I actually don't think I have any good footage of it. Just a couple of small incidental clips which are not even really worth showing or sharing. So, I can't comment too much on the RE45 specifically, but what I can say is Alternator is very strong. Now, moving on to the other new attachment, Hammer Point Rounds, affecting the P2020 and the Mozambique. Again, I have less time with this attachment so far. Uh, most of it has been with the P2020 using Hammer Point, and it is also damn good. If you pair an alternator with Disruptor Rounds and a P2020 with Hammer Point together, you honestly have a pretty decent loadout. You honestly do. Even out to medium long ranges, because these attachments add so much damage to these guns, even though you may not have the optics, you may not have the zoom or whatever, 
you can spam out so many shots and every bullet just does so much damage that it's okay. It's just a very strong combination. And I was not a fan of the idea when it was first presented to me in my stream chat just a couple of, uh, just a few hours ago. It, it, it was something that someone brought up and I was like, oh, you're crazy. There's no way that's any good of a loadout. You gotta have a rifle. You gotta have something consistent. But then I started playing with it and I, I was wrong. Like it, the alternator P20 with the, their respective attachments is legitimately a very strong and scary loadout. Is it the best one in the game? Probably not. Is it really good and incredibly competitive in most situations that are not wide open sniper battles and ending circles with four teams all running DMRs? Okay, maybe it's not as good there, but in the majority of fights you would typically find, holy heck, is this P20 mod really good? Now, on the Mozambique with this attachment, you can potentially do over 100 damage in one trigger pull with this attachment. Are you going to consistently get that? No. Are you going to consistently two-tap people without shields? Yeah, actually, you kind of will. So, really, these attachments are far and away much, much, much more powerful than I ever would have imagined they would be. And you guys should absolutely be picking them up, giving them a try, and using them. Because they are super duper strong. These attachments will change the tiering positions of all the affected weapons in the game. Alternator is running all the way up to S tier with this attachment. And it's it remains where it was before otherwise as just an attachment holder for the R99. But if you take the risk on keeping your alternator instead of, the, uh, instead of swapping it for a 99 when you find one and you get that attachment... You, you have an incredibly good gun. You have an incredibly good gun. Anyways, guys, that'll just about do it for today's little discussion. We'll get more in-depth with these tier changes and how the damage numbers actually shake out at a later date. Uh, right now, I just want to play more. I want to get more time in the game. I want to spend my time playing and streaming and getting the experience in so that way I can turn around and speak to you guys at an even higher level than I already am about how these weapons and changes are affecting the game. But that will take a lot more time and a lot more playing. So I appreciate your patience while we get a little bit better at the game. We get a, bit, a little bit better at understanding how this stuff works and intertwines and affects the meta. And we will have a lot more video content coming for you in the next few weeks. Thank you all so much for being here. I appreciate you very much. Hope you learned something new or at least enjoyed some of the gameplay clips. And I will see you all again very soon. Take care.